Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Why I Hate This Movie. I'm your host, Derek Rios, with my heterosexual life mate, Danny Newton. Say hi, Danny. Hello, Derek. How are you? I am doing great, especially after my second viewing of this wonderful, new, timeless classic. Yeah, it was great. We're going to be talking about Space Jam today. Yeah. This is really one of my favorite movies growing up. Yeah. I loved, as a child, it had everything. Yeah, it did. It had Looney Tunes, which are awesome. It had mm-hmm. cartoons. You had Michael Jordan. It has a, had this great sports figure. Yeah. And it had uh, this sexy, hot bunny as a love interest. Yeah. And, uh, Didn't like furries before this, but yeah. on and after It just that. started. All, we didn't know, but that was, it just started us on that <laughs> furry train. <laughs> at the, yeah. With the sexualization of uh, Lola Bunny. Mm-hmm. 25 years later, something like that. We got the new legacy. Did we? Today. This year. Yeah. Yeah. The new Space Jam. I'll take your word for it. I just, I don't know. There's a part of my brain that's missing now, so. <laughs> we'll have to rewatch it. Aren't you excited? We can just rewatch it right now. No, no, I'm good. You sure? I'm good. You sure yeah, you're going to remember? Yeah. Totally remember it now. Okay. Yeah. So we got the new legacy, Space Jam. Yes. With Mr. King James himself. Oh, he yeah. lets you know that he's a king. I'm not sure what country or um, where, but yeah, he's, he's king definitely of, a king. Uh, he's def- he's king of Lebronistan. Lebronistan? Yeah. Oh, man. That's right next to Pakistan, I hear. Yeah, they're going through tough times. Mm-hmm. I hear uh, <laughs> we uh, we kind of left them, and yeah. they're all just dying now. <laughs> we don't care about that. That's not our problem. Yeah, the UN's going to really settle everything in Lebronistan. It's yep. going to be fine. King James, a tyrant. God, he is a fucking tyrant. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Continue. So this movie was physically painful. Yeah, it was. I watched it by myself, and I had a different idea of what we we're going to do for this episode, and you kept backing out. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make you suffer. If you don't want to go with my original idea, I was like, you know what? We're just going to do Space Jam. I'm going to force you to watch this fucking movie. <laughs> and you did. You did. Literally. I I felt like I sat there forcing myself to, to go through this. This was not a fun experience. Oh, no. It, it was it was torture. <laughs> it's, when you were a kid, you thought you just only thought the idea of somebody being forced to watch Barney on repeat would have been torture. Mm-hmm. No, this was torture. If I was forced to watch this on repeat, I'd probably just gouge my eyes out. Yeah, it wouldn't take long. <laughs> I, you know, I got to give it up to Michael Jordan because his acting is amazing yeah. compared to LeBron. <laughs> you know, and the thing is, so is good. like I expected LeBron to be bad because most of the time athletes going into movies are bad. Mm-hmm. Okay, the only athletes, if you can call them athletes, that tend to do pretty decent well, movies is WWE. Well, they're acting. They're because acting, they are yeah. actors. Yeah. Because they have to do that, yeah. right? Well, most of them are. That all, all the new ones now well, are pretty terrible. But I mean, you know, The Rock and Cena sell it pretty good. fake. Well, yeah. Duh. <laughs> um, but yeah. Like, but they make the transition easier because mm-hmm. that's part of their job is to be the personality. I don't Which, watch basketball. LeBron obviously <laughs> has no personality other than I'm amazing. No, he has a personality of I'm a bad dad. Yeah, and I'm, this, I'm a shitty father. In this. Well, I mean, they just took it. There's typecast in him, right? You think that's how he is in real <laughs> It's got to be how he is in real life. Right? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Like, I mean, you, we start off by seeing him as a child. Oh, one of his friends gives him a a, a, a Playboy. Not Playboy. <laughs> a Game Boy. A Game Boy. He gives him a Game Boy. He gives him a Game Boy. He's like, hey, you, sometimes you got to slap it around a little bit and make it work right. But, you know, here you go, bud. We're talking about a, I upgrade. his penis, right? Yeah. <laughs> Instantly, he's like, oh, I'm just going to play this game for a little bit. And obviously... That throws his game completely off. He doesn't know how to play basketball anymore. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> and his coach is like, you got to focus and you can't be playing games. His and- coach literally shits on him and says, hey, I'm trying to market you as a product. Get your ass in there and play <laughs> basketball. <laughs> okay, coach. <laughs> so stupid, man. The whole value is just you have to work hard for everything. Never have any enjoyment or fun in life. Granted, you do got to work hard for what you want in life. Mm-hmm. But... This whole notion of you can never enjoy anything yeah. is just fucking stupid. It's Don't so you? Bad. How dare you stop for five minutes to play a video game? Man. In a bad video game at that. 
you know, the Looney Tunes <laughs> cable game, uh, it was just like a bad Mario knockoff. It was quite impressive that nothing, nothing in this movie made me chuckle at all. There Not was, even a little there bit. Was, there was like one thing, but. I watched this whole thing just stone faced. Like <laughs> nothing made me laugh. This was rough. After like the opening of him being told, well, you touched a video game once, you're a piece of shit. It cuts to his kids on their little private backyard court playing basketball. Yeah. The one boy's over there. He's designing a game. He is straight up designing NBA Jam. Which, I mean, he's <laughs> 13 years old. So yeah. Like he's, he's a younger brother. Dude. It's amazing. Let him go. Let him make new NBA Jam. That game was amazing. I, mm-hmm. I fucking love that game. Of course, LeBron comes out there like a psychopath. Just berating this kid for having an interest in electronics. An interest in anything else besides yeah. basketball. Basketball isn't everybody's future, LeBron. I can't go out there and fucking dunk hoops and be a multi-millionaire for it. It's not everybody's future. He's a monster. This is bad screenwriting. No, I I don't think it's bad screenwriting. I think this is him. <laughs> no. I think they like I think they were just like Go out and improv being a dad. <laughs> no. This is what he come up it with. It was bad writing because you can tell all of his lines just felt forced. Yeah. Just flat. All, all Everything he did felt flat. So the reason he got this role is because he has done other acting jobs. He actually had an acting job in the movie Trainwreck with Amy Schumer. Yeah. And he he was like a boyfriend that they kind of fooled around. And he didn't. He actually did fine. He didn't have a lot of speaking roles. He just had a couple. He actually did an okay job, and that's where they were like, okay, well, he can act enough that we can give him a line and animate him and then throw him in a fucking new space channel. It felt like he did not want to be in this movie. It felt like everybody didn't want to be in this movie. Uh, No one. Like, the only person that was hamming it up was Don Cheadle. (laughs) Don Cheadle was going all out. He was going full (laughs) Captain Planet and going to turn you into a fucking tree, Don Cheadle. (laughs) But Uh, that still wasn't even enough to really make me laugh. I felt like LeBron couldn't stop being a psychopath long enough just to, to just enjoy a children's movie. He was so full of himself. You could see his ego just oozing out of this movie. I think everything that's like, I'm the greatest here. I'm the greatest there was. I'm the greatest there would be. That is all him. That is all him stroking his own ego. That I think all that is real. I feel like there's a little bit of bias. I mean, I know you don't watch basketball, but you are a Cleveland fan. And is this is is this what's coming out? No, your your hatred towards him for abandoning Cleveland twice. I didn't even know that before <laughs> the intro credits. Right, like <laughs> you didn't know I, that. I knew he started in Cleveland and he left, but I didn't know. I know pretty much one percent about basketball. Like yeah. I, I know hardly anything, but I do. What I do know is still I know enough that LeBron fucked Cleveland. Went to Miami, took a pay cut if with you, the all-star team to win a championship, and then went back to Cleveland, won a championship, because it was big, because you know, yeah, they won so They long. thought it was going to be, they had a shot at being the city of champions or whatever it was, right? <laughs> but the yeah. fucking Browns suck, so they, they missed the triple crown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gun to my head right now, if you ask me what team he plays for, I could not tell you. Lakers. Okay. It was in the intro. That's how much of this movie After, <laughs> It shows him as a kid. It does the intro, and it literally yeah. shows his whole career in the intro. Yeah. He's playing for the Lakers. Okay. He's a new Kobe Bryant. God, man. This movie just screams vanity project. It screams advertising. Yeah, but on a personal level, it's almost like he wants to one-up MJ. It's just... It, it, oh, I'm sure. It's just... It doesn't work. Let's say MJ did it. Wait, 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 wait. Let's wait for it. In like a year, he's going to quit basketball and do some Start playing baseball. baseball. <laughs> <laughs> but that I think that's the biggest difference for me. I get it that 1995 is a long time ago. And when I think of the first Space Jam movie, yeah, I'm thinking of it through nostalgia eyes, right? I don't remember that movie being particularly amazing. It wasn't a bad movie. At least, I don't remember it as a bad movie. There was no point that... I'm remembering like, man, everybody really hates being in this movie. When I watch this Space Jam, it oozes everybody hates being in this movie. Maybe it's because we're old. Maybe we can't enjoy this movie because we're not children. I don't think so, man. I don't know any I don't children. Think it's that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know anyone young enough that I could like ask if they enjoyed this movie. I mean, I've watched children's films and enjoyed them. 
Yeah. You know, like straight up PG children film. This does not pander towards adults at all, which it's weird because they have a bunch of adult references. You know, bro, give me Land Before Time any day of the week and I will sit there and watch it and enjoy it. And that is a straight children's film. It's what about, not for adults. What about 2 through 18 or whatever? You will not enjoy Land Before Time 5 through X. <laughs> I don't know because I've never. There's, there's straight up like 13 of them, but I mean, they get them. real fucking <laughs> children. I, I haven't seen all of them. I'm just saying, man, that sharp tooth ate a little, ate a little too small. This movie's just bad. Just bad. Just so bad. In the life scroll, it's showing like clips and audio of his life. When he goes back to Cleveland, uh, he wins a championship and he's like, This one's for you, Cleveland. And then immediately gone. And, and then <laughs> on the same beat, yeah. it goes. LeBron goes to LA Lakers. <laughs> the Los Angeles Lakers. <laughs> I do remember like, that. It's like, oh, yes. okay. Th- that's for you, Cleveland. I'm leaving. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got LeBron and his two boys. Introduced his two boys. And the older one seems to be more focused on basketball. The younger one is developed a very complex game. Yeah. Somehow. He's almost got NBA Jam completely coded. Mm-hmm. He's working on Which, it. The tech that this kid has. It's dark tech. Yeah. It's very advanced. Yeah. It's more advanced than any normal game designer. Yeah. To where you could just scan someone and it uploads them. I mean. It's it's the same tech that they use in movies, but they have to put a person in a suit and balls on them to actually record like that. So back in the day, the Xbox had the little uh, motion capture thing that you set on it. It kind of reminds me of stuff people used to do with that. You wasn't running it off your cell phone. Mm -mm. Even the stuff that you're supposed to just suspend your disbelief and go with, I just can't. (laughs) Because the movie doesn't do a good enough job to make me suspend my belief just to enjoy it. So yeah, he's making this game. Like I said, it's NBA Jam. It looks like it's going to be a lit game. And LeBron's just like, hey, let me just piss on that. What what is this? Were you playing games? Well, he... He plays it with them, and he's fairly impressed. Me beat but... you again, kid? Oh, beat you with your own handheld for playing games? <laughs> no, get out there and fucking run some laps and shoot some baskets. Well, the mother saves them. <laughs> um, you have the comedy gag of whenever they say ball, yeah, the machine automatically is voice activated and shoots a ball out for them. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be funny. And the older but... brother gets hit in the face twice. The practicality of this is... If you're playing basketball and in just like a scrimmage and not just practicing, how often are you saying ball and basketball? A lot. Yeah. Anytime you're like, pass hey, the ball. pass the ball. Oh, look, uh, I'm shooting the ball. You know, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. You're going to say ball a lot. And that thing's going to be just shooting fucking balls out the entire yeah. time. It's it's like. It's not very practical. It's like fastballing them out. It too. should. I mean, this thing would normally. It'd have to be like a, a voice activator like Alexa ball. I'm assuming what LeBron does is he lines his boys up, and every time they miss a free throw, he says ball <laughs> on purpose to just hit him, his, beat his kids. He seems like that kind of father to me. <laughs> this is kind of... No, we're not on some crusade to fucking hashtag me to LeBron. <laughs> he seems like that yeah, I'm sure dad. he's a perfectly good dad. The whole story of this movie is about him learning a lesson of it's okay to not just focus on one thing in your life and, you know, have other things that you enjoy. And he learns it by the end. But, yeah. You know, it's, well, the lesson is it's okay to let your, your kids be who they are. Yeah. I guess he learns that lesson. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, the Warner Brothers AI wants him to be a figurehead. This, this is a confusing part of the movie. <laughs> so we're introduced to Don Cheadle. Does Don Cheadle want to possess him? <laughs> <laughs> he, so... He sends the the mail to his agent, his agent, which mm-hmm. is uh, Sarah Silverman. Yeah, which I felt really bad for. Yes, I did too. <laughs> and, uh, but you know what? A paycheck's a paycheck. Yep, um, it's, I can say that about everybody in this movie. A paycheck <laughs> is a paycheck. Uh, they go and meet with the Warner Brothers, one Warner Brothers person. Yeah, w- representative, and it's literally this Don Cheadle's character. Uh, it's yeah, algorithm. Yeah, algae rhythm. He's in the server verse, mm-hmm. which literally he just somehow Warner Brothers has created an AI in their server. Of right. Like, and their servers are just everything they own. He has come up with the idea that we're just going to throw 
LeBron James and everything that we own. And they show him, okay, well, he could be in Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, because, you know, Game of Thrones is really hot right now. Everyone's really happy. Oh my God. I <laughs> literally wrote that down. Why are they, why are they Easter egging Game of Thrones stuff so much yeah. after a fucking disaster of a last season? Yeah. I have no idea. Bro. Wait, we don't talk about that here. You know why? Because they probably made this before season eight. <laughs> Bomb so far. Game of what? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. We, don't, we don't talk about that here. It yeah, doesn't, doesn't exist. exist. Yeah. It doesn't exist. What are you talking about? Uh, Harry Potter. Yeah. And, uh, of course, the DCU. So everything everything they highlighted was obviously projects that they have in the works. But my thing is, like, what Harry Potter material are they even working on right now? Are they just working off nostalgia for that? I can understand them using that of which we do not speak because they have a series coming out soon. Well, does it and not- I can understand them using the Matrix because there's a Matrix coming out. Well, it doesn't, it's not even, they didn't even offer to put it in the Matrix. They, they, they show him in these three things. And I don't understand. They're not just going to throw him in movies, these movies, right? And they throw might him as in, well. They're not, like, that's, that wasn't the idea, though, was it? To throw I, him just every movie? I think it, so. Is it like video games? It's just, why would this mash up? None of it makes sense. Yeah. They're just really going to be like, okay, we got Harry Potter and LeBron James in there. Yeah. He's a wizard. Make the movie. Sarah Silverman sitting there trying to sell this to him. And Glenn from The Walking Dead is trying to sit there and sell this to him. And I'm just like, man, it has been a long time since I've seen him in anything. They do need the paycheck. <laughs> but Don Cheadle just got Disney Plus. So, I mean, he's making money. Why oh. is he? Why? <laughs> so, poor Sarah Silverman has a line after the kid like shows him the game. Yeah. And he, apparently the kid understands... How Allie G works. He knows yeah. the scientific way that AIs work through programming. You know, no, nobody knows works. how Cortana works. <laughs> Sarah Silverman gives the line, Oh, it looks like we got a little Stevie Jobs. Yeah. It's, just, oh, it's so painful. Yeah. It's like, who did you, she, you know, she cried saying that fucking line. And <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Steve Jobs isn't like a tech guy, he's just a fucking business guy. Sarah Silverman probably sat down and read the script and was like, I do comedy for a living and none of this is funny. <laughs> There's not one joke in here that works. How but much? How much? Money? Oh, yeah, sure. money? I, I love like, it. Oh, like, that's a great I like idea. Money. The <laughs> uh, hates the idea. It's, it's a stupid it's, idea. It's a stupid idea. It doesn't make sense. And yeah. everyone starts bashing this fucking idea, and it upsets. It's uh, LG. Yeah, it upsets algorithm. Algorithm. And so he just decides. All right, I'm just gonna port these people to. Yeah. Yeah. Which. They have a fucking teleporter in this building. Yeah. No, no, it's Warner Brothers has developed. It's a matter stream. <laughs> yeah, it, it digitized them. Yeah, into the, their servers. It's that's straight up half. That's it's a good half of a Star Trek. Teleporter. Maybe, maybe that's why there's only one fucking person working here. So I got to thinking about this awful hard. This is the part of the movie. This is the only part of the movie I thought about real hard. There, there's two people working here. It yes. shows Glenn and the security guard out front. Yeah. It's the only two people that haven't that he hasn't sucked into this world and well, fucking I mean, murdered. Man, they've been kind of on rough times right now. They had a <laughs> lot of bomb movies, <laughs> so got to cut back. So this is the part that it actually gave me pause and and made me just question what I was witnessing. Algorithm, I guess, either one wants LeBron James to be the face of everything, or two wants to literally possess his body and walk around as LeBron James. And it, it made me think, if we have a digitizer that can turn matter into an energy stream and then turn an energy stream back into matter, why doesn't he just step out of the fucking matrix? Why doesn't he just go through the portal into the real world? Because if it can do both, maybe, there's nothing stopping maybe him. Maybe you have to have matter that exists before to rebuild matter. I don't know. I don't either. It's some very advanced technology that that gives no explanation. Right. And the movie isn't good enough. No, no. For it to not have an explanation. Because when your movie sucks this much, you better be explaining all this stuff. (laughs) So then Algie gets the idea to, I'm going to make LeBron play a basketball game. And we're just going to make it Don's game, his son. Yeah. Why not make him play something he's going to be bad at? Well, it doesn't even matter if he's good at it or not. Yeah. It's not like it's a real game. Right. That that was a big difference. The really big difference in the first one and this one is it's a video game version of basketball 
and mm-hmm. there's no real stakes. There's supposed to be real stakes. Apparently, like, you know, everybody that he decides to suck in through their cell phones and mm-hmm. devices is going to be trapped there forever, but who cares? The big difference is, so uh, unlike the original, there was a normal basketball game. Yeah, it was still animated and cartoons. The Monstars it, actually went and observed real players. And stole their skills. And stole their talents, yeah, yeah. right? This is none of that. It's an arcade game. And the whole half, first half, they're playing like LeBron. Yeah, all they did was playing like a normal game. Nothing, none of it matters. Like for him to be there, all they did was turn up the buy the DLC and turn up their stats. Mm -hmm. That's it. None of this game felt like it mattered. You're right, absolutely none of it. When the Monstars are actually playing the Tune Squad, Mm -hmm. it felt like they were playing a game. Yeah, right. There's a part of this game where literally Wiley Coyote just puts a ball chucking machine on the ground, and it starts just auto chucking baskets. Yeah. Nobody stops him. No. There's no real <laughs> rules. Or, I mean, which the first one, you know, there's a lot of cheating, but it, the cheating is just, we're going to beat them up. So, and there's no real way to adjust the scoring or actually have real scoring at all. After, after the Wiley Cody bullshit, where he runs the score up, yeah. you look at the score on the scoreboard, we won. Mm-hmm. Our score is already higher than theirs. We won. All we got to do is just stand here with a ball in our hands. The other team could have said the same when they were a thousand points up. Right. And I'm looking at the background and I'm just like, I get it. There's cool characters in the background and they're supposed to represent the good guys of these stories on the Toon Squad side. And they're supposed to represent the bad guys of the stories on the other side. I like the mask. Why is he on the bad guy team? <laughs> Over it's there not in the background. just the bad It's It's literally... Like, I mean, on, on, on that same side, there's like Scooby Doo and Jetsons back there too. So it's not really. It's literally just the live side, the yeah. people that we sucked into this game, that are real people. Yeah. That when they got sucked in, it murdered. You know, thousands of people got murdered. Like, what if someone was piloting a plane, or what if someone was driving? <laughs> you know. Right. Because all these people are probably watching it, and it's got teleported in. It's just the same thing as a snapping. Bugs Bunny. This is like a little mini snapping. Bugs Bunny was even an asshole in this. After Don Chino was like, all right, go recruit your team, whatever. And he sends them to the rejects, which I don't know why the Looney Tunes are the rejects of the WB. Since they should be the champions, they won. I mean, yeah, there hasn't been a lot of Looney Tunes stuff lately, but the Space Jam movie was so successful in its merch. Right. You know what I got to thinking about that might have given this movie a chance, like a real chance, is not using the Looney Tunes. Instead of using the Looney Tunes, why not just use the Tiny Tunes? It might have gave it a real chance. No. You know what they could have done? They didn't even reference it. Because this is all fathers and sons kind of stuff, and essentially the Tiny Tunes is the kind of the same thing. It might have gave it a chance. But nothing was going to overcome the shitty plot line and the bad acting. You know, they didn't even reference Animaniacs. Yeah. That's kind of sad. They don't like to talk about Animaniacs. Animaniacs is too adult. <laughs> <laughs> too adult? They had a Clockwork Orange reference in this. They did, didn't they? They had <laughs> Game of Thrones. That yeah. Weird, that thing that maybe existed. The Matrix? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. They had uh, Pennywise? Yeah, they did. There's there's a bunch of stuff that children never seen before. References to a, like adult thing like Gremlins. Poor Gremlins. I love Gremlins. <laughs> I, love Gremlins. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of WC stuff that I love. Every- this whole movie, like from the second that they get into this world, they just cram it down your throat. I was like, hey, look, I own this. We own this. Oh, look yeah. else the other shit that we own. Wizard yeah. Oz. Oh, DCU. Oh. Click on our streaming service. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, please. Get ready for our fucking streaming service. <laughs> Do they have one yet? It's uh, HBO Max, mostly. Uh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is, right? I don't know. Like, all their, all their stuff streams on HBO Max. Are I they, guess. Are they the same company? Uh, AT&T owns HBO Max, right? Yeah, yeah, at t HBO. They're licensed through Max, though. That's the reason all the DC stuff streams on there. So, he lands on the Looney Tunes world, yeah. where only Bugs is now, because the rest of them have just uh, gone off on their own and yeah. explored. And 
I don't know why. I, I guess they just didn't want to be here with him anymore. Yeah, there's no way to get off this planet either. And he, it feels like there was some form of him that was just this drunk asshole that's left here on this planet yeah. alone. And none of them wanted to be with him. There could have been a pretty good adult version of this movie. They're on this planet. And they have to get off off this planet to go recruit the rest of well, the tunes again. It also this is where they decide to animate LeBron James. Yeah, to get away from the fact that he can't act. So right, we'll give emotions and the animations they go through when he gets here. I guess they're really trying to pull off Looney Tunes, but God, it's so fucking just cringy. It's so shitty. Yeah, uh oh, it is. It's not Looney Tunes. No. It's just shit happening. Yeah. Literally just stuff happening. Oh, this is stuff that happens in Looney Tunes. Like, oh, we're going to flatten them and blow them up and all that stuff. And it's just, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's just bad. So they have to get back off this planet so they can go round up the rest of the Looney Tunes that you know are going to generically say yes. And to do that, they dupe Marvin the Martian. And I'm just like, Yo, man, we're forming a team. Want to go hang out with us, Mayor Marvin? No? Okay. Because he was the bad guy in the first one. He's a, he's an alien. He's always wanted to kill the Looney Tunes or something. I don't know, man. But we go through a collection spree of rounding up everybody. We go through um, a montage. An advertisement. An for, advertisement, yeah. yeah. But LeBron's right. Why the fuck would he ever want to recruit Daffy Duck, the I Tasmanian mean, devil, and crap like that? <laughs> of course. His list was exactly right. I want to recruit Superman. Yeah. Why would Superman want not want to go save the multiverse, for one? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, we get Superman, <laughs> Batman, Iron Giant. He could have picked King up. King Kong. They were all there. He could have picked up Green Lantern, too. Yeah. He had two opportunities he to pick up Wonder Woman. He could have just went to DC. You got Superman, Flash, Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman, and the boom, done. Yeah. You know, okay, we win. <laughs> like, <laughs> have superheroes. <laughs> but no, Bugs is like, nah, we're going to get these fucking dumbass tunes that, that honestly, majority of them didn't even touch the fucking court. Right. They, so the only ones that were actually on the court were LeBron, Lola, Bugs, uh, Daffy. Yeah. Sometimes. Daffy was on their um, song. Wiley Coyote sometimes and yeah. Roadrunner sometimes. Roadrunner sometimes. Wiley. Like Roadrunner had one scene. Uh like Grandma had was on there for a starter. Yeah, Grandma was on there. Um and then like they, they sort like Taz was had his one scene. Yeah. Um like all of them have like one thing. And most of it was just showing off how cheatsy the other team is. Dude, Brick and Morty didn't even make me laugh. Yeah, it's sad. Rick and Morty show up with You can Taz. have your thing back. <laughs> and, it didn't even make me laugh. Uh, it makes me laugh now realizing how much I didn't enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Like, I just, I watched this whole thing stone-faced. So I picked up Porky and Daffy from the DCU. Again, Mad Max, which he wasn't animated. For it wasn't some animated. reason. Yeah, and you what got a... Uh, what what, what child is going to know? Roadrunner. <laughs> Fury Road. Oh, dude, this is a great child. I'm just saying, kid, my kid will know Fury Road when they're eight, probably. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, you had Austin Powers, another great child. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you had Elmer and Sylvester and Austin Powers. Yes. Uh, Costa Blanca. You had Yosemite Sam. These dude. are all movies that no child would ever know. So that's I've obviously never watched Casablanca, <laughs> right? And it's just like these are obviously references for adults. Yeah, and it's just they do not land at no. all. No, it's so bad. Uh, Rick and Morty brought Taz in. Game of something had Frockhorn Leghorn. Yeah, riding around on a dargan with a blonde wig. Don't know who he's supposed to be. Riding on a dragon? No idea. But the thing is, is they're portraying these characters, and we've already seen with Daffy Duck and Superman, that Superman is real. Yeah. So somewhere, Foghorn Leghorn stole a dragon. <laughs> Murdered <laughs> Darnaris. <laughs> Scalped her. Wearing her head. And it's like, no one will notice. Let's go. <laughs> I say, boy, giddy up. <laughs> Do you, think, do you think when he bangs fucking <laughs> is there a, do you think he banged John and John didn't notice 
Well, I say there, John. I say Ooh. there, Mr. Snow. I say, boy. <laughs> you, you sure do. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> You northern boys <laughs> sure know <laughs> how to give us. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take you down to the true south today, boy. <laughs> uh, I just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. He, you know what? If in <laughs> if in season eight, Darnaris turned a frog on the acorn, it would have made more <laughs> sense than the actual <laughs> ending. <laughs> And fuck it. Maybe they just throw LeBron in there and he could be. Um, oh my God. He anyone. could be. <laughs> he could oh. be Bron. Oh. Bron turns to LeBron. God. <laughs> yeah. They had Matrix. Yeah. yeah Granny and uh, Speedy Gonzalez. Mm-hmm. And Grandma's playing Trinity. Speedy Gonzalez is playing Neo. Right. So that means they're going to bang. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, Arriba, ande. <laughs> which, I, you know, I, Speedy Gonzalez, kind of racist character. That's what I was about to say. That actually surprised me <laughs> that they used him. He wasn't in the rest of the movie. <laughs> no. He wasn't. He didn't. They never showed up on the court. Well, he he should have played her in the movie still, but no, no, never on the court. He was on the sideline. I mean, all of them right. were standing on the sideline. I line. think the last time I noticed him was like um, when they dropped the court out of the sky. Mm-hmm. Right, I think he like snacks grandma and carries her off. Or something. He might have a line during the halftime thing. Yeah, I think he has like one little line, but he just has like a big ice pack over. Him. Yeah, even the stupid red fucking fur monster. Which yeah, I, I can't remember what he was from in Looney Tunes. I have no idea. Um, he got court time because he soaked up wet fire. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh-huh. Oh my god! And then we go back to the DCU and Lola Bunny. Lola Bunny's whole thing is a Wonder Woman. Why she wants to be an Amazon? Yeah, an Amazon. but we're directly referencing another shitty movie. <laughs> Maybe the reference in the first one, not eighty four. No, that was eighty four. <laughs> that, that was the obstacle course. Oh, no. Eighty four. It was. It was definitely a lot different than the first obstacle course. Yeah, but uh. Let's get this out of the way. Lola Bunny. The original Lola Bunny was a sex symbol, and they made her hot. They just... Not and, this time. She was, like, stacked. Not really, like, crazy or anything. She yeah. was, she, But they were definitely significantly reduced. Lola Bunny was the furry Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. They completely neutralized any real sexual activity between her and Bugs. You can tell Bugs still has feelings for her, but they really don't. They don't really go there yeah. at all, which really made before, me sad. Before, it would have been the whole, like, eye-popping things, like Yonga, right? Where mm-hmm. their fucking eyeballs pop out in the hearts. Mm-hmm. Um, it would have been, like, Yowza kind of shit, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, they didn't do that this time. They didn't do anything. You know why? Because they probably would have got sued or something, right? Oh, they would have got me too It's really sad. That's one of the big differences in this movie. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not saying that they there should was make no, her a sex symbol. There was no don't call me doll lap yeah. line yeah. in this. There was nothing like that. I get it. You know, they don't want to be sexist or anything but and not sexualize her at all. But there was a genuinely love interest between her and Bugs. So in this, Lola Bunny is pretty neutral. I guess what I, in the first one, Lola Bunny is more like Black Widow originally was. Femme fatale, mm-hmm. right? She literally beat people's ass mm-hmm. And then said, don't call me doll. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, she was a badass. And yeah. in this one, she was just, go team. Yeah. Very much team player. We, we, we're we not like you, LeBron. It's so sad. I enjoyed the whole idea of her being in Wonder Woman's timeline. That whole little segment was better than the entire <laughs> length of Wonder Woman 84. <laughs> so, I don't like what they did. At all. With any of it. With any of it. <laughs> I don't like it. It touched me in inappropriate areas. I, so don't, I don't want it. <laughs> they, they get to the stage. They, they make the stage. And yeah. then he digitizes the Looney Tunes to make them like 3D realistic models. Oh, my God. It was like when they did it to the Simpsons. It looked fucking terrible. Yeah. It looked real weird. Yeah. I didn't like it. I didn't like it either. Another one on the list. <laughs> I didn't like it. Imagine that. 
Oh, Granny <laughs> makes the fucking Chappelle show reference while they were training, by the way. Did you get that? No. Yeah, they're doing their training and they're just, it's just chaos shit like Looney Tunes always, right? Yeah. And she slam dunks and just game oh, blouses. Yes. <laughs> the fucking blouses she reference. She did. Yeah, she made the Prince reference. Yeah. yeah. That you, you chuckle? <sighs> no. Oh. You miss so much shit when you're in such pain. <laughs> When everything else is so miserable, it makes it hard for stuff like that to shine through. Like, normally, I probably would have given it a chuckle, but in this, yeah, you're right. Like, I'm just crying, bent over in a yeah. fetal position. Dude. Uh, so, the game, you bring in every WB reference ever, just fucking ever, and just shove it down your throat. Yeah. And they're just sitting there on the sideline the whole time. And then you digitize thousands of people murdering i'm telling how many <laughs> it's almost like a little mini snap of course yes which has got to be horrifying uh, i would imagine so and these people just show up here and then they're just told oh if this team doesn't win you're gonna be here forever wb's definitely out of business after this <laughs> which i'm pretty sure everyone that worked for wb in this movie is dead <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely out of business after they snap half the world. You're right. But, hey, good news. That means that Disney will be able to buy DC and <laughs> there will be pretty good DC movies. If WB had this technology, they could easily just snap all the CEOs of all their competition away. <laughs> and then, like, once they're, everything tanks, I'm like, buy it all up. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so we're introduced to the Goon Squad. Yeah. Which we in the Goon Squad, we got, uh, of course, Dom, who's just turned all of his stats all the way up. Yes. And uh, then we got Snake Lady. With all of her stats turned all the way up. Yeah, yeah. And then we got a Spider Lady. With all of her stats turned all the way up. Yeah. Um, I don't know the actual NBA players. They're all new NBA players. Newer. Yeah. I don't know any other names. They needed the paycheck. Like, I, I might have said it once, but I don't fucking know their names. Uh, then you had... I'm just going to refer to them as whatever character they were being, you know. Yes. You had Birdman. With all his stats turned all the way up. <laughs> they had Wet Fire. With all his stats turned all the way up. Which doesn't make sense at all. I don't know how this character works. <laughs> I mean, obviously, what they wanted to go for, the character was designed from My Hero Academia's character, uh, Shoto. Yeah, but it's like fire and ice. But it can't be because he doesn't have his stats turned all the way up yet. <laughs> oh, is that? That's, that's the difference. <laughs> but... I don't understand how <laughs> just going from water to fire, yeah, like um, doesn't really make sense. And how how would you play against that? <laughs> Did you don't? There's literally a guy on fire running around on the court, <laughs> and then sometimes he's just water. Yeah, and then you had a uh, the the time stop guy, uh, damn time, dom dom time, damn time. I don't know the fuck this guy's. With but, their stats turned all the way up, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he can literally slow down time to the point where it's not stopped, but he's moving like flash level speed. It's almost like we could have recruited the flash. Yeah. But they put in the roadrunner to counter him. Ooh. Which he then feeds the roadrunner to the coyote. And it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> and then you had Al G. Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera. With the stats turned all the way up. With the stats turned all the way up. <laughs> That's the Goon Squad. Yeah. I hear they have their stats turned all the way up. But since it's a game, can't they just turn the Toon Squad stats all the way down? I don't know. Maybe they're not players. They're not characters in the game. Yeah, but Bugs, that would make Bugs not a character in the game. So how was he able to do the glitch move? I don't know, man. <laughs> how does he survive the glitch move? Love, hope, uh. happiness. No, so no, this movie had none of the first half of this game was just the gun squads beating on just like the original but the yeah. difference is like okay we got a fucking million points or whatever to 20 and they go to the locker and lebron's just like y'all guys suck and they're just like hey man we're just trying to be you you yeah. suck and this is the one scene in the movie that i actually laughed at they brought in michael jordan <laughs> and it was michael b jordan yeah i actually thought that was funny that was clever. Needed the paycheck. Honestly, it's probably just Warner Brothers like, hey, man, you want to Creed 3? Yeah, you got to fucking do this first. <laughs> you, better, you better show up. No. Pro bono. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm guessing Michael Jordan 
was like they couldn't get Michael Jordan because I think he just turned down the script. No, I mean after the documentary came out about him, everyone kind of sees him like knows that he's actually just kind of an asshole. <laughs> it turns out he was very competitive. He can't be any more of an asshole than LeBron. No, he he actually just a bad person. Then they had the allegations of him having a 16 year old love child or whatever. So, yeah, it's entirely possible. They don't prepare you in life for that to become famous overnight and extremely wealthy. And it's not like busloads of women are just lining up to throw themselves at us. <laughs> what are you so, talking about, bro? Uh, <laughs> you speak for yourself. So as a, as a man, you're not prepared for that. I think he got me too because he was literally just a bully. Nah. Like I said, he couldn't be any more of an asshole than the asshole that was in this movie. <laughs> LeBron learned his lesson, bro, okay? They went out there that second half and, uh, you know, was the Looney Tunes. And auto chucked balls into the, the net yeah. until they won. Well, they they had their rap battle uh-huh. with the notorious P.I.G. Uh-huh. This movie wasn't good. <laughs> Which, the rap battle was literally just the tunes and the other side didn't get to participate in the battle i don't There's know that's a, a battle. lot of stuff it felt like the other side didn't participate in one a auto ball chucking machine <laughs> just sitting in the middle of the fucking court the fucking goons did it too with the spider bitch just sat there and like slammed it over and over it's like at some point the other team gets the ball she made like a 250 points just sitting there bouncing it off fucking lebron's head <laughs> <laughs> Like, talk about <laughs> cheating combo breaker. You talk about cheating. <laughs> what guy's made of water? <laughs> it's it's hot water. It's really hot. It's a steam. It's fucking steam. <laughs> oh my god! And so and then it ends with Bugs sacrifices himself by doing the glitch, the shot. glitch shot, which is the move that LeBron taught his kid. Yeah, which is just a fadeaway. It's it's a it's a complex fadeaway. <laughs> yeah, it's a complex way of saying just hey, just do a fadeaway shot. Yeah, he he glitches him so LeBron could actually you know make the two points, which up until this point every shot was like worth fifteen to thirty points or some bullshit, and yeah. then it gets to like okay, these shots are worth one to two points now. Yeah, they're reason. actual shots. Yeah, which yeah. doesn't make any sense at all. But whatever. That way you can actually keep up with the score and it has meaning. Well, what gets me before this. Lola hits the shot mm-hmm. and Don Cheadle just like teleports the ball back out of the net and like, nope, don't count. It's like, yep. what? <laughs> this is, no, what? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's cheating, obviously, yeah. right? And the only reason he couldn't cheat again is because he was glitching. Even with her ball teleported back out the net, it didn't matter because you didn't have to take the shot. Just could have stood there 10 seconds. Well, I mean, the points didn't count. Right. I don't know, man. This movie's bad. Did I mention this movie's bad? I think I, I don't think so. I don't think I mentioned that. That was the first time. It's fucking bad. This movie's real so bad. They win. Woo! Everyone's teleported back out. Yeah. Bugs dies. Yeah. But gets reincarnated in the real world. Somehow. Somehow. It's okay he's in the real world, but he dies in the Warner Brothers server. Right. I don't know. I don't know how the fuck it works, but he's fine. The end of the movie is LeBron dropping the kid off at the E3 gaming camp. Yeah. Game developer camp. Then LeBron's just walking around. Very irresponsible dad. Yeah. This kid's not wearing a mask. Um, He's sending him in to uh, catch the nerd flu as it is. (laughs) If you've ever been to one of these things anyways, you're going to catch something. Uh, (laughs) This is an interesting point for me. Is LeBron then walks out. Magically Bugs Bunny's there. Yeah. He wasn't there before to say bu- goodbye to the kid or whatever. I think LeBron's dead. I think. <laughs> no, I don't think <laughs> that he's dead. I think he's gone insane. This whole movie is about LeBron going insane. And he now sees the Looney Tunes in real life while around hanging out with him. And he's chilling with Bugs Bunny. I gotta be honest, man. It doesn't seem like the Looney Tunes is something LeBron would have grew up watching. No, he didn't grow up watching anything. He didn't have time. Right. He wasn't allowed. Well, you're looking at a TV? This is beat. Yeah. It's like fucking China. Now, when he ever he sees a TV on the wall, he just cries. Yeah. <laughs> it's China. He plays basketball 18 hours a day. Mm-hmm. And then you had two hours to eat, whatever, get a bath. Rest and wake up and do it all over again. Yep. And if you ever try to, like, turn a TV on at the time, they're like, hey, man, we're going to murder your family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to take them out back and shoot them. Yeah. Yeah. Your whole family. All of them. Better go out there and dunk those balls. <laughs> 
You're only allowed three hours of video games a week. Oh, God, dude. This shouldn't exist. This movie or China? <laughs> um, Partially both. So I, I think LeBron was walking around today just talking to Bugs Bunny. There's a version of this movie that could have worked. There is. They could, like I said, they could have done Tiny Toons instead of this whole server crap. They could have literally just did the Monstars again. They could have just rehashed it. They didn't have to come up with anything new. Not in the sense of like just completely redoing the plot. Mm -hmm. It could have just been like Mortal Kombat, right? This is this decade's fighters. And that's the reason it's the fucking Tiny Toons, not the Looney Tunes. Where, and they uh, could have made a Mortal Kombat reference. I hear that's in their staple. Where's Bill Murray? No shit, right? I, after watching this movie, there was good comic relief in the first one. I could have swore Bill Murray was in the first one. Mm -hmm. I was so frazzled by this movie <laughs> that I had to look up the first one to make sure Bill Murray was in it. Mm. Yeah. So his character was a pretty much antoine or yeah antoine the uh, which is his agent yeah who was his friend when growing up yeah that lost his family in the server verse. yeah which lost him and every all of his family you're right and but it doesn't ever show him it literally just shows him like uh phone teleport me in you and and that was it yeah and then the first one is a little more serious where Bill Murray loses Jordan and he's literally just he's digging a digging hole in the golf course days in the golf course <laughs> yes. trying to find Michael. Yeah. <laughs> like, and, and people was like, oh, this, Bill Murray's gone insane, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and it mattered. It, it felt more real. Yeah. But, yeah. You know why? Because Bill Murray's talented. Yeah. And he sold it. Don Cheeto's talented. And he doesn't sell this to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just, it was just the way they wrote it. So Don Cheadle is insane in yeah. this, right? Obviously. I get that. I get him being insane. Everything about this, it just didn't work. What well, didn't make sense? What did Don Cheadle want him for? You don't know. Because he doesn't he never says. No, he says He's like, like, Oh, he's amazing. He's this, he's that, he's the king. So Don his whole character he just wants to be known yeah because apparently this ai is spitting out all the scripts for fucking warner brothers now i mean makes sense the, all their ideas is like oh we, our algorithm came up with it oh my god it's family guy <laughs> and he just wants to be known it's a it's a fucking <laughs> tank full of dolphins yeah <laughs> randomly pick punch alliance <laughs> in south park it was they chopped the head off of a chicken and, and throw him into, like, a roulette table. Oh, God. And it just runs around until it lands on the idea. <laughs> uh, I just... The only enjoyment I've gotten out of this movie is just sitting here talking about it with you. Like, seriously. <laughs> so, back when the original Space Jam came out... Yeah. There was actually... It was actually fairly successful. Well, the original Space Jam... You know, Michael Jordan had to agree to make fun of himself... He had to agree to make fun of his shitty baseball career. Yeah. He had to be a good sport about it. Which, you know, at the time, do you think he understood he was making fun of it? Yeah. He totally understood. You think so? Of course. I'm saying he's the person that would want to do that. He he willingly went out there and made fun about how yeah. of how bad he was at baseball. He wasn't that bad, though. That's the thing. Compared to a professional baseball player, he wasn't great. <laughs> but he wasn't bad at baseball. He was actually decent. There's no part of this where LeBron goes out there and pokes fun at himself. You know what I mean? I mean, but it doesn't give him a chance. I don't know. Maybe the whole being too strict was him trying to poke fun at himself. No. So I mean, making fun of yourself makes you more human, I feel like. Or it makes you. You got to be able to make fun of yourself. Yeah. In order to make fun of the things around you. Right. Okay. I guess. LeBron doesn't earn the right to make fun of any of the stuff around him. Because there's no point in this where I feel like the script was allowed to make fun of him. I just feel like that was part of him agreeing to this movie. You can't make fun of me. My ego won't allow you to make fun of me. So all that stuff was just cut out. So it makes him less of a person. The funny, makes him less relatable. The funny thing is uh, LeBron's probably a better person. I don't know, man. I don't know either. So anyways, the, the original movie was actually fairly successful. And yeah. it sold a lot of merch. Yeah. I still got a Space Jam blanket. I still got a Taz blanket. Yeah. It's actually behind you. 
And I, I was never a big Looney Tunes fan, but Space Jam kind of put Looney Tunes on. Like, I, I watched it, but, you know, I watched Looney Tunes not the right way. Because I, I, I hated, I hated the Roadrunner. I hated fucking Tweety. All the people that were, like, getting away. I, yeah. I wanted the cat to murder Tweety. <laughs> I wanted the coyote to murder Bob. Uh, I mean, I grew, up, I grew up with Looney Tunes cartoons, but I more grew up with Tiny Toon Adventures and Animaniacs. Yeah. The Animaniacs. That's where, yeah, it's great. Yeah. And, you know, Pepe Le Pew got a uh, hashtag. Me yeah. too. Yeah. He is... A, a, a rapist <laughs> was he a rapist i mean yeah he hit on the girl and like i mm. guess he kind of forced herself on her I'll call so. yeah is that a no-no that poor kitty i mean honestly that's kind of i have friends that i can think of that are that's kind of their interaction with other females uh, that's what it feels like to me i don't want to say any names i, I don't know <laughs> Peppy was to the point of literally holding that cat down. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, maybe that cat should have pretended to be a skunk. Maybe that cat should have put on <laughs> less sexy fur. <laughs> I don't know. It was pretending to be a skunk, right? <laughs> no, it was not. Oh, no, yes, it was. And that cat never pretended it, to be it, a it skunk. It painted the stripe down its side for some reason. Remember that was the whole thing? It painted a stripe because it no. wanted to scare something off. Uh, uh, that's no. I remember. I remember that. So your your take on this is the cat was asking for it. Yeah. Yeah, that cat knew what it was doing. It's asking for yeah, it. Walking through was... here looking like that. Yeah. 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 Get it, Peppy. Get it. Peppy, yeah. Peppy would if that if Peppy, No. <laughs> Peppy no. wouldn't just chase down a cat. He thought it was a skunk. It was like a fellow skunk. And skunks are aggressive, okay? They're bro, aggressive lovers. Bro, no. <laughs> no, I gotta stop you. I gotta stop you right there. <laughs> Fine. I'm on hashtag Peppy, okay? <laughs> they didn't They didn't have to completely re- remove his character. Maybe they could teach his character a fucking lesson and be like, hey, stop raping chicks. Yeah. And like, he could have oh, had an entire okay. character arc of yeah. learning to respect women. Yeah. And he could have <laughs> turned into a space. feminist and... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> so, they were actually talking about doing other spinoffs of Space Jam way before this. Back in the late 90s and 2000s, they had works of doing a Speed Jam, I think it was called. And it was going to be Jeff Gordon, starring Jeff Gordon. Really? hmm You know, that might have been better. They had a Skate Jam, starring uh, Tony Hawk. That might have been better, too. Yep. And uh, do some X game shit instead of this. Yeah, there was quite a few uh, other jams that they had going on. Yeah, could have brought Airbud in. I want to. <laughs> I want to point out, like I, I've heard some people don't understand the title of the movie Space Jam. Space Jam, the original one, is because they were in space fighting the aliens, or whatever. The jam part is short for jamboree, and not just we're we're jamming out to have a good time or something or jam as you eat it's short for jamboree which is a sport event you do like multiple games and stuff uh jamboree i just want to clarify that because i have i've listened to different things talking about it and they're just like i don't understand what this means uh, the title doesn't mean anything what's a jam well you can't jelly it in there <laughs> <laughs> and this definitely didn't jelly it into me today <laughs> jammed it in there pretty good Oh, all right. Anything else you want to say about this movie? Dude, I didn't even want to say this much about this movie. <laughs> this movie cost $150 million was a budget. <laughs> you are shitting me. $150 million was a budget. I think they used 120 or so. Dude, there is no way. Do you know how much it made? There is no way it made <laughs> that. So... It, if, if just guessing, it's it, it's it's a two hour movie. So they released this digitally, right? As they did. well as in theaters, they did. But it wasn't digitally free. You had no, to pay was, like thirty bucks. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah, it was thirty dollar rental. I'm gonna say they made twenty five. Am I being generous? They made twenty one million on their opening weekend. Shit. <laughs> but, but isn't like crazy then they gotta be trying to bank off toys i think it was the highest animated since the covid started the space jam movies originally the, the movie itself didn't do great it was the merch that sold but made fucking millions millions and millions of dollars off merch it made in the u.s which is u.s canada it made 70 million 
the worldwide gross was 153 million or so. They barely scraped it back by. Mm-hmm. Jeez Louise. But I'm guessing that was our goal. It's like if we just make break even with the movie. We'll make it off the toys. Yep. We'll just sell the shit out of the kids. <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of anybody wanting Space Jam toys for Christmas this year. We'll see. This movie came out this year, so yeah. we haven't got to Christmas yet. I'm buying all my kids Space Jam stuff. You really hate your kids. I don't have any, so you're right. I do hate them. <laughs> if you buy... If anybody buys their kids Space Jam stuff, it better be from the 90s. <laughs> it better not be this shit. It's just knockoff fucking Space Jam. Oh, my God. You get your Don Cheadle action figure. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the MCU, I swear. It's not from the shitty Space Jam movie. <laughs> it's uh, it was LG on... War Machine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Al Jazeera War Machine. <laughs> If you can take away anything from this movie, if there's one good takeaway, it's that just whenever you have kids, just let them be who they are. Don't try to mold your kids into what you want them to be. They will be who they are anyways. Uh, all right, let's wrap this up. All right. So, so all in all, what, what do you think about this movie? I've heard from other person in this room that it was bad, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel it was bad? <laughs> This movie is fucking terrible. <laughs> That's why I made you watch it. Because I knew there's no other way you were ever going to watch this movie. <laughs> Dude, I was never going to watch this movie. I was going to pretend I never even saw the trailer. And I just, I was never going to watch this. No, fuck no. So on the hate meter. Yeah. Does this go to full 10? Man. The thing is, it didn't deserve it. It doesn't deserve the full 10. To get the full 10, it needed to be this bad. And be like racist. <laughs> <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez? It needed to be more racist than Speedy. It needed. You know what LeBron said whenever he got teleported in there? The computer's black? <laughs> <laughs> That's just kind of racist. Why does the computer identify black? <laughs> <laughs> does Warner Brothers program it that way? The um, AI <laughs> considers itself a black guy? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're getting to this movie's fucking we're we're figuring it out, okay? <laughs> you got <it> this way. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stay in. <laughs> but I don't know. For me, if you want if you want a 10, you gotta be this bad plus, right? Mm -hmm. This doesn't deserve a 10. So a nine? <laughs> this is a hard nine. <laughs> I, I chuckled in a Two hours span, I chuckled once, and then I just felt pain <laughs> for an hour and 55 minutes. To be the full 10, it needed to be this, plus like a Schindler's List execution. <laughs> <laughs> Which it almost got there, man. It was real close. <laughs> All right. I'll go with nine, too. I'll give you that. It doesn't deserve a 10. So no. It doesn't deserve to be talked about. <laughs> no, it does the not. The fact that we managed to talk about it however long this is, pretty amazing. I really want to just be like, movie's bad, done. <laughs> I could cut it down to that. <laughs> just here's our review. This movie's done. <laughs> hey man, don't don't watch this movie. Oh man, you recommend other people should watch this movie. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Don't don't. Worry. You know what? If you have children between the ages of five to ten, they might like this movie. If you have friends and you just don't want to be friends with them anymore, then invite them over for a, a movie go. night and then put this shit on. And you won't hear from them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing about it, if you're going to invite the kids, then you just can't explain anything in the movie to them. Like, what's this stuff? Like, where where are they here? Who are these people? And you just got to be like, see, that's a clown that murders kids. <laughs> you see that dragon? <laughs> that's from a show where the brother and sister has sex with each other. And then the brother oh, and sister yeah. <laughs> has sex with each other again. Uh, you know what, though? That show doesn't exist. And then that other brother and sister had sex with Dang, each other. That show doesn't exist. <laughs> it doesn't. All right. I'm a Hufflepuff. Why? <laughs> I, don't I, I don't know. Do you think LeBron knows what a Hufflepuff is? No. Fuck no. <laughs> he no. has children. Yeah, so? they. I, you know, his oldest boy was probably right in the prime age for Harry Potter. Are we done? <laughs> Yeah, we're done. Our like, careers are done. I feel like our relationship is over. <laughs> yeah.
I'm sorry. I can't see you anymore without seeing Space Jam. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Every time I see you, you remind me of this fucking movie. <laughs> hmm. Well, thank you for joining us. <laughs> We're going to get out of here before we get any more depressing. Uh, this has been another episode of Why I Hate This Movie. I'm your host, Derek Rios, and all as always, with Danny Newton. I'm going to um, go open a vein now. Thank you for listening. Uh, like, subscribe, and what's the other one? Comment. Comment if you <laughs> like what we're doing. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>